Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to convert the uniformly varying load or uniformly triangular load on a beam to a pointed or concentrated load. So if you consider that this is any beam of length 10 meter and there is a uniformly varying load or the triangular load acting on the beam with the magnitude with the lower magnitude of 0 kN here 0 kN per meter and to a maximum magnitude of 4 kN per meter. So how to convert this load into a pointed or concentrated load and where will the pointed or concentrated load will act on the beam. So the task will be to convert the uniformly uniformly varying load are simply UVL uniformly varying load to a pointed load or we can say to a concentrated load and where this pointed load will act on the beam so this is will be our task so to convert this uniformly varying load or triangular load we should first find out the area of this load so the area of this load will be is this is a triangular load so it will be half base into height because this is a triangle so we will find the area of this triangle which will be half base into height and half base is 10 meter here and height is 4 kN per meter because this one is 0 so 4 kN per meter is the height here so by multiplying so meter meter will be cancelled we will only remain with the kN so 2 4 it will become 2 and 2 10 20 so 20 kN is the load acting on this beam so this will be the, we find the area of the triangle and this area will be the pointed load pointed load or concentrated load acting on this beam now where this load will act on the beam if this is the beam free body diagram for the beam this is a support this is b support similarly here this is a support this is b support and this is 10 meter length so where will this load act on the beam with, with the magnitude of 20 kN so the load will act at a distance of b by 3 b by 3 from this end so b by 3 means the base divided by 3 so base is 10 meter divided by 3 so we got here 3.333 meter so it will act from this point up to 3.33 3.3 meter the load will act here this will be the pointed or concentrated load and magnitude will be 20 kN so the whole length is 10 meter so from this point from this point it will be 2b by 3 2b b is 10 meter total base so we got here 6.666 meter so here will be 6.666 meter so from this end it will be at a distance of 2b by 3 and from this right side it will be b by 3 so the load will act at this point which will be the centroid for the triangle so this is the pointed load of 20 kN we convert the uniformly varying load or the triangular load into a pointed or concentrated load. This will be pointed or concentrated load acting at a distance of 6.66 meter from the left end and 3.33 meter from the right end. Now where this come B by 3 and 2 B by 3. This is the way how to find out the centroid of a triangle. These are the centroid points for a triangle. If this is in a triangle, the whole width is B. So from this point up to this point it will be 2p by 3 and from this point it will be b by 3. So here it will be the centroid of the triangle. For a rectangle if we consider this a rectangle so if this is a total b so the midpoint is the centroid for the rectangle. So it will be simple b by 2 and b by 2. But for the triangle it will be 2b by 3 and b by 3. So this is the way how to convert uniformly varying load or the triangular load into a pointed load and then to find out the centroid where this load will act on the beam. 
Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.